I had zero intentions of talking about this today. I was actually going to talk about how they might actually be taking the meat away. But I saw this news article on the side of one of the other ones I was reading. And all I have to say is it's time to take these motherfucking researchers, these experts, these scientists, line them up in front of a ditch and watch them fall in with their pockets full of dirty fucking money. Or we could hang them upside down and shake those pockets loose while we have a little batting practice. Hey, sounds fun. What makes you an expert? Uh, that you were brainwashed to be a minion of the elite that can brainwash the public? Why don't you take your social distancing and shove it so far up your ass that you get into the year 2022? Much is still unknown about humanity's response. Infections could return after measures lifted, researchers say. What do you guys mean? You, uh, researchers seem a bit uncertain. I thought you guys were experts. Why don't you pricks be a little honest and tell us what's going on? Are you not sure that the crops are going to be completely devastated by ice and floods like they were last year? Are you not sure if the current food system that we rely on will completely collapse? Are the big boys in charge worried they're not going to feed their little babies? We should throw these pricks in a fucking dungeon where they belong. People around the world might need to practice some level of social distancing intermittently through 2022 to stop Toyota Corolla from stunning a new and overwhelming total hospital systems, a group of Harvard d d d retards said Tuesday. I mean, considering the hospitals are empty, I I'm not sure what you guys are talking about. I mean, I went to the busiest New York hospitals at the epitome of the disaster and there was no one to be found. Y you know, you guys should come up with better excuses, uh, perhaps something that can't be found out by walking down the street. On top of that, has anything good come out of Harvard? Seems like mostly degenerate elite shill sh those questions are being weighted by government leaders who have seen economies around the globe come to a standstill because of the social distancing measures. With millions of people out of work and staying home, pressure is growing to loosen restriction in the U.S. and elsewhere. Doing so, experts have said, will depend on having in place measures to control the disease, such as widespread testing. So, government leaders have seen economies come to a standstill? Okay. Is that why all of the country's leaders cooperated in shutting down economies? It's not like they watched it happen and happened to be there. They caused it to happen. Millions of people aren't out of work. The government took their jobs away, got them fired by crashing the economy. You know, those government leaders are also working really well together to get these Wi-Fi towers set up. I mean, I've never seen so many cable trucks and cherry pickers driving around, especially in this uh, time of need. The Harvard researchers use computer models to simulate how the might play out. One possibility is that strict social distancing followed by intensive public health detective work could chase down and eradicate the issue. That's what happened with the past issue in 2003. But with confirmed cases of the new pathogen approaching 2 million globally, that outcome is seen as increasingly unlikely, the researchers wrote. Are they using the same computer models that this head scientist was using? The one that thought it would be 500,000 deaths, but now is saying 20,000 or fewer? What happened, buddy? You seem awfully upset that people aren't dying. What about fuckface Fauci saying the death toll looks more like 60,000 instead of 100k to end the commitment? What is that? How many people your short, ugly, satanic ass thought you could scare into a hospital so you can suffocate Americans on ventilators, bag them up, and smile as you slap a Toyota Corolla logo on the bag? To avoid such outcomes, on and off social distancing measures may be needed until 2022, unless hospital capacity is increased or effective injections of treatment are developed. <laughs> I mean, you guys are really hanging on to that hospital bullshit like it's your only hope. They're empty. They're laying off employees in the hospitals because of how empty the hospitals are. There's no one in there. Zero. Kaput. Clean halls. No one's walking. No dirty shoes. So you want to lock people in their homes until you can inject them with something that will keep them sick and controlled? Okay. 
The authors don't endorse a particular path forward, but said they thought to identify likely trajectories of the issue under alternative approaches. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me pull my cock out so I can slap some sense into you satanic asshole. I mean, I don't know what to do at this point. Um, uh, this is... Like, I'm over talking about this. I don't want to talk about this anymore, but I don't, I don't know how much longer we're going to be locked inside. And I don't think things are ever going to come back to normal at this point. So whatever. We'll see. Um, thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, we're going to do a live stream tonight, Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern Time on the channel Frank Tufano. I think we're just going to uh, general ask me anything if you guys want to join me. So I will link that in the description down below where I will also put the other ways you guys can support me. Uh, you know, if you guys could please share the video, um, subscribe if you haven't, of course drop a like and leave me a comment down below. Thanks again for joining me guys. Enjoy the rest of your night.